groups. That is the first bit of dynamics that most people will see when they log on in the morning. And this is one of many examples of a dashboard. Like almost all of Dynamics 365, it is highly, highly, highly customizable. What we also have from here is lists of accounts or organizations with whom we have a business relationship. And I'm just going to open one of these. And what you see here is a lot of information about this organization. I'm not going to go into the detail of this information. The only thing I am going to flag is here we have the address. And should we need to organize a meeting at their office, it kindly gives us a map showing us where they're located and from there we can get directions. Here in the middle we've got a timeline. So this is giving you all of the activity and not just my activity but all of the activities done by my organization with this prospect or client Alpine Ski House. Over here, we've got more information. So we've got the primary contact of Alpine Ski House and a business card, a bit more information, and specifically the email and the business phone number. Here we've got some other contacts who also work at Alpine Ski House. We go into contacts, we'll get a similar list, but now we're looking at people, not organizations. Here, we've always got what are called views. So if I change the view, so I'm going to choose campaign, no campaign activities in the last three months, and we've now got these records where there's been no activity on the marketing side in the last three months. Again, if we open one of those records, lots and lots of information. And you notice how some of the information is black, but some of it is blue. This blue information is a hyperlink. So if I click there, I get to go back into the account for this organization. So that is a very quick look at Dynamics. 